G'day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and I'm with Ian. Today we are ministering to the Biesige Baikis School and uh, it's a big pleasure for us. Uh, Marina sent us a list uh, of 14 people that uh, are part of the school and uh, we are taking a time today to bless you and we, we trust that the words that we will speak will encourage you and will bring life to you um, each one of you are valuable and special to the Lord and God has a word for each person on this earth and so we're taking the time to minister to each one of you. Uh, you are a blessing to those kids. Uh, when, every time when I go to the school, uh, I can feel that God is working at the school, the presence of God is there and you know, when you have kids you don't, you're not always spiritual because there's very practical things to do but you have to understand that kids are very, very uh, receptible to what God is doing, to the anointing of God, to the word of God. So uh, you guys really have an opportunity to make a big impact on, on the lives of those young people and also their parents. All right. So uh, we're going to minister, there's 14 people on the list and we'll probably minister between a half minute and a minute on each one. So the first person is uh, Lebu Gong. Okay. So the Lord showed me a field fire and I felt that field fire was destruction that the enemy brought against your family. Yeah, it's like the, you know, when the field fire comes, it burns down all the, the grass and sometimes some of your bushes and, you know, it can even be a threat to someone's house. Uh, but then the Lord showed me how He is bringing restoration to you, how it rains in the spring season and how all that green grass starts to grow where you just saw black over the winter season. And then the Lord shows me how He restores sevenfold in your life, whether it's relationships or it is um, the anointing of God, uh, it is finances, uh, it is things that you have around your life that's in place. I just see how the Lord brings a full restoration back into your life. And the Lord is just saying to you, Lebegang, I love you very much. You do not have to fear. I'm with you and I'm protecting you. I'm covering you. God bless. Okay, the next one is for Miriam. Miriam, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. Um, I just see you come with one fish to the Lord and you you don't have any more to give. I see there's a, a, not a lot to give. Uh, but what you have, you come and you give it to the Lord. And the Lord shows me a picture where if you decide to come with thanksgiving, thankfulness in your heart, where you say, thank you, Lord, even this what I have, is a gift out of your hand. I just see multiplication in your hand. Where God says, when you come with gratitude rather than complaining, you're going to multiply things. Whatever you're going to do in your life, it's going to multiply. Whether it is uh, thanksgiving or whether it's complaining, whatever you choose is going to multiply. You've got an anointing of multiplication, but you need to choose it wisely. What do you choose to do with it? And I just see how the Lord says, I'm, I'm ready to bless you. I want to bless you. I want to work with you. And then I just see every time as you say, thank you, Lord, for this, what I have, because it's a gift out of your heart. You've got appreciation in your heart. I just see how suddenly there's two or three fish that you need. Then you're going to have more than enough. And God says, I'm a God of more than enough. And I want to help you. And I want to teach you that principle. Be blessed. Yeah, Miriam, that's awesome. Uh, I know in the beginning of Genesis, when the Lord blessed the people, He said, that you will multiply. So multiplication is part of the blessing of God in our lives. And uh, in Clayton always teaches, whatever you look at, that will multiply in your life. So it's, that's why it's important not to look at things that you don't want to multiply. Mm. All right. Awesome. God bless you, Miriam. Agnes, the Lord shows me that you bless everyone around you and that you have tapped into the glory and the anointing of God and just like in John chapter 4, where uh, Jesus speaks to the woman at the well, He said to her, when you drink from this water that I will give to you, uh, from your innermost, uh, yeah, He actually said, out of you will come a fountain of, of water. And I see how you have become that fountain. And how the life of God is, is flowing out of your life continuously. It's just bubbling forth. And so the Lord says, when you feel dry, it's, it doesn't help to go to someone else. The, the, the strategy would be to go to the Lord, to reconnect with Him and let Him fill you up. 
and then you'll see that fountain will just continue again. But you, you've been faithful over so many years, you're, you already have that flow and that bubbling continuously in your life, and the Lord is very pleased with you. God bless you. Okay, the next word is for V. V, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. Uh, accept the goodness of God in your heart. I just see how your hands are cuffed and it feels like you can't do much. And I just see how the Lord comes and He sets you free. He's not bringing judgment in your life that is going to condemn you. I just see how the Lord brings life to you. Even though you know there's things that need to change, uh, but God says, I'm going to give you provision, I'm going to help you in order for you to change it. But I'm coming with love. I'm not coming uh, with a set of judgment over your life. And I just see how God says, I want you to know how good I am. And I want you to experience my goodness in your life. But you need to open the door. You need to be willing to accept what God wants to give to you. And you must trust that God wants to give you good things for you, for your life. Be blessed. Hello. Awesome. That's what I want to get. That's the army. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Um, okay. So, God bless you, V. Uh, the army. Uh, the Lord is showing to me um, a big um, room with files. And now the old files has to be thrown away. Now, I know when people keep files for tax, how long do you need to keep your files Five for tax? Years. Five years. Okay. So it means you keep all your, your, your tax document for five years and then a six years worth of documents, you can start to throw it away. So you can kind of like have a room with, with five years worth of documents and then every year when a new year starts, you, that when you have six years of documents, you can throw one year away and you can kind of just keep on adding to that. And sometimes in our life, there is things that happen to us and you know, it's very much here in our memory. Uh, but what the Lord wants us to do, He wants us to let go of the old and the past and He wants us to walk towards the new. And I just saw in your room, there was quite a few years extra worth of files and documents there. And the Lord says, now is the time to let go, to forgive, to release, to say, I don't want that person to say sorry anymore or I have an expectation about this. I'm just letting go. And in the kingdom of God, there is a constant process of cutting off the old, looking towards the new and walking and not allowing your mind to simmer on, on the old. You, you want to, um, you can reflect on what happened in the past, but it's important to then set your mind on what God wants you to do and in the future of where He's taking you. And I just felt that, that the Lord wants to take you through that process, to say, let's cut off the old, let's leave it behind. Let's move to, to the future. The Lord has a good, good future and a plan for your life. Um, if you focus on what's old, it will reproduce in your life. But if you focus on God and on the mandate and the blueprint He's giving to you, then that will be produced in your life. God bless you. Okay, the next word is for Kotsitse. Kotsitse, the Lord loves you and He cares all about you. Okay, the picture that I saw for you was, it is as if you are chained in... in, in um, Normally like they will take an animal and put a chain on it so that it can't go out of a certain area. And it feels like that is a picture of your life that you feel like you cannot go anywhere. Now normally and on elephants, they put chains on elephants' legs from when they are small. They try to break it. They can't break it. And then when they are big and they can break it, they choose not to break it. But when you look at a dog, a dog always, when he, I can almost say, wants to protect, he doesn't care about the chain. He runs up until that chain yanks him back. Uh, but I just see how the Lord says there's a drive inside of you and you must keep that drive alive because eventually you want to break free from the things that are holding and restricting you and you're going to be able to be set free and you're going to go for God. I see uh, there's challenges in your life that you feel you cannot worship and you cannot serve God. You are very restricted, very lim limited. But I just see how God's provision is going to come through for you and how there's going to be breakthrough in your life. But you just need to keep on and believing that God is good and He says, I will reveal myself to you. Be blessed. Okay, awesome. God bless you. Uh, so the next word is for Vanessa. Uh, Vanessa, uh, the Lord is speaking to me about your stewardship. And in the Bible, there's the, the parable of the five talents and the two talents and the one talent. And the person that had five and two, they were faithful to multiply, to, to double in essence what they've received. And the Lord says, you've, you've had your talents, but you've been faithful to develop yourself, to grow, to study, to learn, 
to, to gather more skills in your life. And because of that, the Lord is promoting you. And He says to you, good and faithful uh, servant. And I just see promotion that the Lord is going to give to you, both in your work situation, but also at home, uh, at the church, in your relationships. How the Lord is just opening up new things with you, because He know. Uh, he knows that you are faithful and that he can trust you and he can give you that promotion. God bless you. Okay, the next word is for Anusha. Anusha, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of a frisbee. Now, if you throw a frisbee right, it'll come back to you. It's not hard work. It's actually nice to play with. But if you don't throw it right, it's on a, either going to go way back or it's not going to come back at all. And I just see how God says, you're like a frisbee that always will return. And however, you go out, you make your circles, and then you come back. So this area, especially a special area for you, where you're going to come back, you are rooted here. Even though you'll be able to go out and explore, I just see how God says, uh, this is a place and an area where your blessings will always be, uh, but you're not chained, you are not um, uh, restricted, uh, but you are always will have a special place where you can go to. And this is the area where is your special place. Be blessed. Hey, awesome. Thank you, Anisha. God bless you. Uh, Zalna, uh, the Lord shows me how He touches your throat. And, uh, and you were speaking, but your, your throat were very rough. It's, it's almost as if you had a soft throat. You, you couldn't speak. Your voice was gone. Uh, but the Lord comes and He touches your throat. Uh, and He gives you your voice back, both in a natural and also in a spirit. And I see how the Lord is touching your physical body and is healing you. How He's touching your, your spirit man. And how He's giving you authority to speak and to declare and to have a platform from where you could minister. And the Lord says, I do not want you to be silent or to pull back. But I want you to allow my glory to flow through you. And then the Lord showed me the crown of joy. Uh, and the Lord always wants us to wear uh, the crown of joy because the kingdom of God is righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. And the Lord is just restoring that joy uh, on your life. And the Lord says your joy is not going to be connected to your family uh, or your husband or your kids. Your joy is connected to His kingdom and the flow of life that He is bringing into your life. The Lord loves you very, very much, Zalna. God bless you. Okay, the next word is for Tandi. Tandi, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I see there's a lot of concerns that you have and you need to trust the Lord that He will help you and He will give you the right strategies to get rid of your concerns. Not to take out your concerns and then just put it in your pocket so that it will always be as if it recycles itself. Uh, I see God wants to give you strategies. He wants to give you wisdom to get rid of your concerns and how you can help other people as well who's got the same concerns. Are you just going to speak a word of wisdom into their life, give them help, give them strategy so that they can become free? Because a lot of the problems that we have, uh, there's a quick solution, but we don't always see the solution because we are so busy with the things that are keeping us busy that we can't break through and get through it. And I just see how the Lord really wants to help you so that your concerns is is not sky high but that your concerns are more for people not about people be blessed hey uh, tani god bless you all right so the next word is for monique okay uh, monique the lord shows me how you have a word of revelation on your mouth and how you have testimonies that you speak about you talk to people around you and as you do it that testimony is like a fishing hook that catches fish for god and bring people into the kingdom of God. And so Jesus said we have to be, or one of his uh, teachings is, we have to be fishers of men. And I see how the Lord is making you a fisher of men that testifies and speak revelation and words of encouragement into other people's lives. And how you hook different people in, and how you bring them into the kingdom of God, and how the, their lives are also changed and how they again start to minister uh, to the Lord. And so the Lord says, uh, you're not going to be inactive or passive in the kingdom of God, but you're going to be very active and you're going to be one that challenges the, the kingdom of, of darkness uh, to bring people that are in darkness into the light of God. And the Lord is protecting you and is giving you an anointing to do that. God bless you. Okay, the next word is for Rita. Rita, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of three pillars. Now, your function is as a pillar. 
and I just see how your work and your family is very important pillars. Uh, and I see sometimes it feels like one or the other just wants to buckle as if it's, there's too much pressure. And I just see how the Lord comes and He strengthens you. He helps you, gives you wisdom, but He also gives you words of love and life. Where you're going to be able to speak words of love and life. Where people are going to come to you, they're so concerned, they don't know what to do. Someone will be angry and you just speak that word of love. And I just see how their hearts change completely in your work area and in your family area where God says I just want to make those two parts in your life very secure because it's important to you and it's important to God that you fulfill the calling that you've got in your life and I see that's definitely your work in your family is two big areas uh, where you're taking strain and God says I'm helping you I'm sending angels to you you just need to believe and trust that he knows what he's doing and follow God's instructions be blessed hey awesome uh uh, Rita, God bless you. Angelina, uh, the Lord is showing to me uh, a gate of creativity uh, that's flowing out of you. Uh, you worship before the Lord. You draw, paint, uh, write things, um, just make things around you beautiful. Uh, and the Lord uh, showed me that He has made you to be a, um, a presentation of His glory. That's the word that I get, but I'm trying to explain it now nicely. Uh, I, I felt that His glory is going to flow out of you and it's going to come through song, through words, uh, even through ministry. Uh, it's just people just going to see the creativity and the color and the light and glory of God shining out of your life. And so the way we, we get our creative gate to, to stay open is to be in a constant relationship and a connection with God because He's the one that will give us creative strategies and speak to us and encourage us so that we can be who He has called us to be. And you know, God is a creator. He created everything so beautiful and we are made in His image. So He wants us also to be creative. God bless you. Okay, the next word is for Marina. Marina, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of a wheelbarrow. You're pushing a wheelbarrow, but the wheel... Is, is not in a good condition um, it is very much worn out now just see how you're working hard but it's not necessary to work that hard in that specific area yes the wheelbarrow always helps you you can carry things alone but it's 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 much more slower and I just see the the purpose is not to get rid of the wheelbarrow but it's actually to maintain the wheelbarrow and in your area I just see how God says uh, when you when you're quiet, when you close down, take a day or three, uh, if you have to fast, but enter a state of prayer where you just pray and you ask the Lord, Lord, what, is, what will be the wisdom and the strategy for the next year? Because God wants to help you so that you are ahead, not catching up the whole time. I see He wants to help you that you're not frustrated. He wants you to enjoy what you're doing because you're called to speak life into children's hearts. And I just see how you walk past children you put your hand as they run past you just say bless him lord bless him lord and then sometimes god will give you specific prayers for specific children and then you just take time and pray over that but your joy needs to be very good because um, when you're not joyful and you're concerned about business and all of those things it, it takes away the focus that god wants you to have that when you are there you don't have to think of what can go wrong but what you can think of this is what god wants to do in this child's life I'm going to speak a blessing so that that will happen. It's going to have a tremendous impact in their life as well. Be blessed. Yeah. Uh, Marina, I'll just add, uh, I saw Elijah uh, hiding in that cave. And then um, he heard that uh, still small voice of God. Uh, and then the Lord gave him instructions. Uh, and one of it was to come out of that cave and to go and do things. And, and I felt that the Lord says, uh, you do not have to hide. He is protecting you. He is covering you. And He has instructions, things for you to do, uh, people to pray for, people to anoint. Um, and so the Lord is He's going to use you in a mighty, mighty way. All right. Marina, we love and appreciate you. Everyone at Biesige Baiki School, it was wonderful for me and Ian to minister to you. Uh, Marina will hopefully give us your names again in six months or so and then we would love to minister to you again it's good for us to now and again just receive some prophetic input into our lives so um for my, uh, marina you can maybe remember next year may or june then just give me the whatsapp again and i'll 
minister, uh, I'll get Jan or someone to minister with me. <laughs> yeah, uh, family, uh, we love and appreciate each one of you. God bless. Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.